one magical mental activity is the secret to achieve success, to achieve your goal. One magic mental activity is all it takes to achieve the success and the goal that you want. Anything. You want a better health. You want a better relationship. You want a different career. You want more money. You want financial freedom. You want a freedom lifestyle of traveling the world like I'm doing. I joined Bob Proctor's program and that's when the light bulb moment hit and I knew that it was this one magical activity, this mental activity that separates the people who are very successful and those who are not reaching their goal. And this one magical mental activity is called decision. It's the art and the skill of decision making. And I really want you to understand what it means. I'll give you examples and I want to teach you how to do it as well. Because if you know how to master the skill of decision making, you can and you will achieve anything that you want. To understand the skill of making a decision, I want to take you to understanding what it means to not being able to make a decision. So-called indecisiveness, you know, indecisive, like, should I say it or should I not? Should I do it or should I not? Should I tell him or should I not? Should I stay in this relationship? Should I leave? Should I stay in this job? Should I quit my job? Like, what should I do? Yes or no? I can't, I can't. Like, if you fail in making a decision and making a choice between two opposites, it will lead to emotional wars in your mind and in your body. It will lead to confusion, to constant conflicts. It's almost like there's constantly two voices in your head. Yes, do it. No, don't do it. Yes, maybe. No, maybe not. It's frustrating. It's, it, 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 it causes irritation, conflicts and emotional wars. And well, what it really causes is called ambivalence not being able to make a decision and sitting in between these conflicting choices. The definition of ambivalence is the coexistence in one person of opposites feelings towards the same objective. In other words, two extremes, conflicting choices and not making a decision. Now let's talk about why it's so important to make decisions? Well, making a decision can change everything. Making decisions can really change anything and everything in your life. And the thing is that making a decision happens in our mind and it's not visible. Only the result of your decision is visible in the real world. Ambivalence is also caused by a lack of confidence a lack of self-esteem. And when we look at the people who are really good decision makers and successful in making decisions, they have confidence. They have confidence and confidence leads to courage and courage leads to taking action and taking action leads to the results that you want. So making a decision will help you raise your confidence, your self-esteem and people who have this confidence in making decisions if they make a decision and they make an error or they fail, it's okay because they're thinking, okay, well, I made an error, so I learn, I grow and I move forward. Okay. And so this goes back to the video about um, the fear of failure and taking risks. I explain it in detail there that, you know, the failure comes from our upbringing and we're always taught to play it safe and play it safe and play it safe. But taking a risk means fall, get back up, learn, grow, improve. You know, that's how you grow and that's how you succeed. If you don't take any action, nothing will happen. No risk, no fun. Take a risk, see and face your fear, go towards it, make a decision, make an error, fail, fall, get back up and continue, move forward. Now, how can you learn to make decisions? Well, only you can learn to make a decision, nobody else. So the statement and the affirmations from now on that I want to give to you is decide wherever you are with whatever you got. Most people are influenced by external forces, by external circumstances, by 
other people telling us, guiding us, do this, play it safe, do that, go this direction. The only force that has the power to make a decision is you. The only force that you should listen to is you, not external forces, not circumstances. Circumstances are the excuses. Yes, I want to do it, but. Yes, but I'm too old, but I'm scared, but I failed in the past, but, but, but. Well, those are limitations that you put onto yourself. And if you argue for your limitations, you get to keep your limitations. You want another career? Decide right here, right now that you want another career. You want another relationship? Decide right here, right now that you're going to change your relationship. You want more money? Decide right here, right now that you want more money. Once you make the decision, you will figure out the how. Because why are we stopped and staying stuck? Because we don't know the how. Yes, Rachel, I have a goal to change my career. Yes, I want financial freedom. Yes, I want to travel the world, but how? And that question how and not seeing the how keeps us stuck and keeps us undecisive and keeps us in the, in the status of ambivalence. Once you make the decision, you will figure out how. Once I made the decision, I'm going to quit my corporate I didn't know how I was going to travel the world and achieve the life that I really dreamed about. I had no idea, but I made the decision right there, right there where I was with whatever I had right there, right then that I was going to live a freedom lifestyle, no more boss, doing what I wanted. I made the decision. I had no clue what the future would bring me, how I was going to do it. I had no idea, but I made that decision and that was the way forward. And so when clients come to me and they're in doubt and confusion and they really don't know, it's like, okay, make a decision right here, right now. You're going to make a change. You're going to achieve what you want. Make that decision and then we'll figure out how. And that is why only few really successful people have what they want. They know how to make a decision and they will figure out how to do it. But as long as we're staying in this indecisiveness, ambivalence, nothing will happen. And we prefer to stay safe and we prefer to stay in our comfort bubble and not making a decision and just do whatever we're familiar with. But then you're not growing, you're not learning, you're not improving, and you're not going to have the success that you really want. People will call you crazy. People will tell you your goal is absurd. I've heard this over and over again. Like, for example, like I want to do a TEDx talk. But Rachel, how the heck are you going to do that? You've never stood on a stage before. When I started YouTube, but Rachel, how would you start a YouTube channel? There's millions of videos out there. Why you? Uh, I wanted to quit my job. Are you crazy? I mean, the financial security and, and, and the financial and the paycheck and all of that. I mean, are you crazy? Yes. Yes, it's absurd. Yes, it's crazy. So what? It's my decision. And if you let external forces guide you, you'll stay stuck. So yes, they're going to say it's absurd. Yes, crazy. So don't mention it. Don't mention it to people who don't understand it because they will hold you back and pull you back into the bucket of crabs. If you haven't seen my theory of crabs, the crab mentality, you have to watch it. The crabs will pull you back into the bucket. So try to escape and don't listen to them and make a decision. For example, you make a decision to go on a diet and lose weight. That's a decision. Now, when somebody asks you, oh, well, do you want this piece of cake? You will say no. You will not have to think about how will I say no? Do I need that piece of cake? Yes, no, yes, no, the ambivalence. No, you're going to get because you made a decision. I want to lose 10 pounds no matter what. You made a decision right there, right then with whatever you had. You made a decision to lose weight so that when people ask you questions, do you want this cake? Do you want this chocolate? You know, you don't have to think about it. There's no ambivalence. You made a decision you want to lose weight. So you know the answer. You do not want that piece of cake or chocolate. Make a choice to have a great day. When I open my eyes in the morning, I say, Today is going to be a great day. I make a decision to make it a great day. I have the intention to make it a great day. Whatever comes my way, I made a decision. Today is going to be a great day. The weather sucks. Fine. People are giving me certain comments or critique. 
fine, today I'm not going to let my day be ruined by external forces. I made a decision to make it a great day. I know this is a very simple example, but it's with everything. I change my life just by making decisions. I decide to travel. Oh, but there's a pandemic and there's COVID and, there, and what you need and a test. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I sold my house. I sold all my belongings because I want to travel full time. A lot of external forces and circumstances are coming my way, but I made a decision and I'll figure it out. You might also think, well, you know what? I tried it in the past and I failed. Does that make you a failure? No. You are only a failure if you decide to quit. If you quit, that was a decision. You decided to quit. That will make you a failure because you decided to quit. So take action. Make a decision. Make a vision of your goal and make a decision that that vision you will achieve. Make a mental picture. Go and watch my video about visualization. Make a mental picture of your vision and then go towards the goal. How do you make a goal? Watch my video about the right goal. Make the right goal. The goal that people will say you're crazy and absurd, but that will be the right goal. The goal that you don't know how the heck am I going to do it? Make that goal, make a decision, and then take action. That's what I take all my clients through. That's what I did. You know, make a goal specific for you. The goal that makes you excited, that makes you your heart tick faster. And then you'll figure out the how. That's what I do. You know, I, I figure out the, the right goal for my clients. And then we'll figure out the steps to take action towards it. And trust me, we get there. And it's exciting and it's an amazing journey. Life is short. Decide wherever you are with whatever you've got. I'll see you in my next video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, comment below if this was helpful to you, and I'll see you in my next video.